Hey, hi everyone. Hi, this is Kevin from investbankofproperty.com. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this video uh, to talk about a uh, review of two properties, uh, the uh, XT Payatai by Sai Siri and uh, another property called uh, Park Origin Payatai by Origin Development. Um, but before we go in depth into uh, these two development, um, I, I thought I would just do this first part of this video to uh, give everybody a, a better understanding on where this place called Payatai is uh, because uh, I think all along usually when we talk about investing in Bangkok uh, the familiar places that always get mentioned are places like uh, Silong Saton, Tong Lok Ekamai or maybe perhaps recently people uh, would know more about where it's Onnut or Hui Kuang or maybe Bangsa etc uh, etc et uh, but Payatai is a, is a name that doesn't really get uh, mentioned very often perhaps uh, if you stay in Bangkok uh, for a while or, or you're familiar with the place you, you would know where this place is but um, if you're hearing it for the first time I think uh, you're not alone uh, but what happens is uh, there's actually two mega uh, property that's uh, launching at Paya Thai um, uh, which is uh, as I mentioned just now uh, by Sensiri XT Paya Thai and uh, Park Origin Paya Thai uh, so um, I thought this next 30 minutes, I'll be talking a bit more in depth about uh, what's actually around at Payatai. Uh, is there any uh, potential to this location? Uh, how's the rental market like? Uh, what are the existing developments around there? And uh, are there any major infrastructure improvements that are coming up at this location? So uh, if you're interested to find out more, um, please keep on watching. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. So, where exactly is Paya Thai? Um, well, you, you can actually use the uh, BTS map as the uh, reference point because uh, there's a there's a station over at uh, at Paya Thai, uh, one of the BTS station, and uh, it's actually so if you follow my uh, mouse, you let's use Siam as the uh, point of reference. So uh, we are all familiar with where Siam is because that's the main shopping belt. With uh, Siam Chitlom, this is the main shopping area where you have your Siam Paragon and Siam Center. So, right, all you have to do is to uh, go two stations up north. So, first station, Siam, second station, uh, Ratchatui, and then the third station, there you have it. This is Payatai BTS. So, in fact, um, you realize that, hey, actually, Payatai is actually very, very close to Siam, just two stations away. Uh, another place that uh, people are maybe more familiar with uh, will be Victory Monument and it's actually only one station away, one station further up. Um, another up and coming location is uh, this place called Ari. All right, uh, there's a lot of uh, new residential developments, uh, cafes and shops popping up in this location uh, and it's drawing a lot of uh, people moving into this area as well. Uh, they're saying that this place is developing into uh, another Tong Lok. So, uh, of course, you can, you know, uh, go all the way further up to Mochit and then you can actually interchange with the uh, MRT Blue Line to go to Chatuchak uh, or any other places. All right now, um, we come back to Bayatai. Uh, Bayatai is actually also an interchange with uh, the BTS Bayatai and the airport rail link. So, uh, in fact, for now, Payatai is the uh, terminal station for the airport rail link station. So, if you are coming from the uh, Suvanapum airport, uh, you can actually take the uh, airport rail link and all the way through to uh, Payatai. That, that is the last station. So, um, well, if you need to go to the airport, uh, some, what some people do is they actually uh, take the BTS to Payatai and then they change. Instead of uh, going to Makassan, uh, you might have to uh, change to the uh, blue line and then after that you have to get out and change again. So it might be a bit troublesome. So if you are staying around Siam Chitlom, you might as well just go straight to Payatai and hop on the airport rail link. Uh, and it should be an empty train as well because that's the last station for now. Alright, uh, this line has future expansions planned, uh, which is under construction. So you can see it will go left to uh, Yomara and 
then it will go to bouncer that, that is where the uh, high speed rail train station would be that will eventually link up to uh, Yunnan in China and then uh, they will further you know, uh, extend this line to the left uh, another interesting thing to take note also if you just go one station up to Victory Monument uh, uh, which is also under construction is the orange line so once this orange line is completed um, from Victory Monument you can actually hop on to the orange line and then um, then you can see you can go to places like uh, straight to Thailand Culture, Cultural Center that's gonna be an uh, interchange station so from this cultural center, you can take one station down to uh, Faram 9, that is the second uh, central business district or the new central business district of uh, Bangkok. That's also where the uh, stock exchange of Thailand uh, is currently located. And then you can go all the way to other places uh, that you might need to. All right, uh, but let's just focus back on uh, Paya Thai. So, so I think I think the the easiest point of reference would be to uh, first understand that Paya Thai is actually very very near to the shopping belt. Uh, in fact, when we uh, got out from the BTS station, uh, you can actually see Bayok Sky Tower from uh, Paya Thai. Uh, so you can see how close it is, and uh, in fact, it's like really two stations away from Siam. So what's that Paya Thai? Uh, I actually did up this uh, map to map out all the um, important landmarks that I think you should take note of to, to have a good uh, appreciation of where uh, this location is. So uh, usually when we when we look at um, the location, we will consider things like um, how close it is to BTS, uh, are there like infrastructures there, are there hospitals there, uh, government institution, um, schools, or even shopping malls. Um, in this video, I will skip the shopping mall because, look, um, the whole point of uh, staying at, staying near Payata is be also because uh, you're only two stations away from Saib. So, so anything you need, you can actually just go over to this area. Then you have all the major shopping malls, right? Uh, uh, but actually near to Payata, there's also the King Power Duty Free. Uh, uh, shopping mall as well. There's, there's also a hotel convention center. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so uh, just uncheck all the boxes first. Okay, so this is the uh, Paatai interchange, BTS and airport rail link interchange. Okay, one of the um, Attraction of Payatai is um, there's a lot of local working in the medical industry that will actually probably want to stay around this area because you can see that there's quite a number of private hospitals that are located around this this uh, station. Um, I'll just uh, I will not go through them all one by one, but uh, I'll just show you you know from this map. There's a uh, Payatai one, Payatai two, um, and then you have, you know, all these Brahma T Bodhi hospitals. Uh, this is a more famous one, uh, Bamrungrat International Hospital. So it's just here. So you can see that it's kind of like really surrounded by a lot of medical institutions. Uh, these are the ones that are mark marked out are mainly the uh, private hospitals. So further down south, there's also the Chua Long Kong Hospital as well, uh, which is this one in Thai, right? So uh, these are um, there will be medical staff, uh, doctors or um, the nurses um, who will need to uh, rent a place to stay, or they might be considering buying uh, houses around the area. So these these are one potential source of tenants or people who will be looking for. Um, uh, properties in this area. There's also several government institutions around. Uh, so again, uh, there's a high con uh, there's a couple here, and then um, one or two or three around. Uh, what are they? Uh, there's a Ministry of Industry, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Science and Tech, uh, 
Ministry of Labor, Revenue Department. Right. So so again, these are people uh, who might be looking for uh, uh, housing uh, in this region as well. Right. Uh, usually, wherever they work, they will tend to try to stay around. Um, uh, it's always easier because of the uh, bad traffic conditions in Bangkok. And uh, for, for these people who are working in this uh, government agency or hospitals, um, their actual home may not necessarily be in Bangkok. So uh, for them, it's, they just need a place to stay near their workplace, Monday to Friday, and then uh, weekend, they will actually go back to their hometown. Okay, so besides government institutions, then we have schools. Uh, this is another thing to highlight. There's a lot of private schools and universities that are surrounding uh, this uh, Pai Thai area. Uh, we have the famous Chulalongkong University. Uh, this one, Tram Udong Suk Sa School, is a school that prepares uh, students to enter university and they have a very high rate of uh, passing. So, so that's why they are famous for that also. Uh, and then you have several demonstration schools, which is somewhat equivalent to our secondary schools. And a few other faculty of pharmacy. Uh, this is Royal. Royal Thai Nursing College, uh, and then uh, another private school. Okay, uh, so this area traditionally has been a place that uh, a lot of the old rich have, have been staying. Um, and uh, in some cases where uh, the students, the uh, kids are moving into schools around this region, they might also uh, move their property over here as well. So they, they will probably buy a, buy a house around here. Um, uh, the student population from the university could also be uh, the ones renting uh, condos in this region uh, because of the proximity to their to the school. To get something in Siam and Chitlong would be very pricey. So the the only way for them to uh, be nearby and still manage to save on some rental would be to move further outwards. So uh, that's that's uh, why Payata is one location where um, there's a high demand for renter in this. Okay, besides school, there are also commercial offices. Um, these are grade A offices. Um, let me just show you. Okay, I've marked them out in this purple icons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, the moment you come up from the BTS station on the platform, you on oh yeah on the platform you you always see this uh. CP tower. There's actually three towers uh, uh, over here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, co-working space. Uh, I saw a lot of uh, private school as well, tuition agencies. They are there. Then once you get out from the uh, BTS station uh, at this major junction, uh, we actually turn right to uh, visit one of uh, the show flat, which is XD Baatai, somewhere around here. So along the way, as we walk, we see like a row of uh, office building as well. The first one is this place called Wanason. Wanason building uh, is famous because there's a lot of uh, private schools and tuition agencies. So uh, if you if you want to send your kids for extra lessons in terms of uh, English or mathematics. Uh, our understanding is the 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 rich uh, Thai parents actually kind of uh, come here to sign up classes for their for their kids. So when we were there in the evening, we also saw a lot of uh, uh, students uh, leaving the place and moving in and out of the building. So I guess they were here for for lessons. So this this is famous uh, for that. Um, and then after that, next to it, there's this uh, Siri Pinyo building. Uh, this building, in fact, Sun Siri's office is inside as well. Uh, so uh, Sun Siri is inside, and then so Huawei is inside as well. Uh, there's a stand chart is also inside. Um, there's another building here. Uh, you can see here, Pattaya Plaza. Right, Bank of Bangkok has an office over here as well. Um, we uh, actually did some research. Uh, most of the uh, Office building in this area have uh, more than ninety percent occupancy rate, so uh, you can see that this is a rather popular place for businesses to also have their base over here, uh, and uh, some of these uh, workers who work around here uh, 
uh, would probably be looking for uh, housing around this area as well. Right, and then you have uh, your uh, CV, Ayutthaya building, BSB group, okay, uh, so there's, there's quite a number of uh, office building that will help to uh, create the demand for housing in this re region. Okay, this is the uh, main Payatai Road. Okay, uh, and this uh, perpendicular road is called C Ayutthaya, Tanon C Ayutthaya Road. Okay, but usually this whole area they will just uh, uh, name it as Payatai because that's the name that uh, is more um, familiar to a lot of people. Uh, and then you can see here. Yeah, here the Pullman Bangkok King Power, right? So this is the place where actually people come here for the duty free shopping, right? So it's actually just nearby as well. Another uh thing worth mentioning about lo the location is also uh you realize that uh if you are staying around here and uh if you drive, uh you can actually have very easy access to the Sirat Expressway, which can actually bring you to uh the outer parts of Thailand. Uh, to the outskirts. Uh, when we were, I remember when we were there, we wanted to go to Ramanai after which, so we kind of like uh, uh, got on a got on a taxi, uh, and we were surprised how uh, how short the distance it is actually. Right, uh, let me show you. Actually, from here, uh, we were on. You have to be on the on the Wanasan side of the road. Um, yeah, and uh, so let me just enter in uh, Central. Ramanai. Okay, so by uh, driving, right? Uh, yep. Actually, I think this is the road. Uh, this is this is the road that we that we took. So the driver just went straight, then uh, via a flyover, and then in a in a short while, actually, in fact, he he can just like go straight now, and then we'll we stop on the other side. Uh, which is this uh, fortune town uh, and then you can just cross over you don't have to make, make one big round actually so all in all the distance uh, in fact I think it's less than 7.7 .7 kilometers if you exclude this this uh, portion right so I, I think I think when we were there we, we probably talk about uh, about less than 10 minutes from from somewhere around here uh, to reach uh, Ramanai MRT so, uh, so what I'm trying to say is, uh, in fact, people who are working around here could also potentially be your tenants who may prefer to stay uh, at Payatai. Um, generally, this place, when we went there, the feel is uh, uh, there's, it's not so congested. Uh, there's really no, uh, you don't see like tourists walking on the streets. So it's more of like really uh, the locals who are who are moving around, going about doing their everyday business, either they are working there or uh, the students, as I mentioned earlier, or yeah, they could be staying in one of the few condos that are around there. Right, uh, but yet, uh, uh, um, you will realize that uh, you're actually just two, two stations away from the main shopping area. And uh, on the right hand side, you're only about uh, 10 minutes drive away from the uh, central CBD area. Uh, if you are going to Silom, Saturn, then um, in fact you don't have to drive, just uh, get on BTS by Atai and then uh, take the stations down. There's also uh, new developments that are coming up that uh, we believe will further drive the demand for housing and uh, also uh, have a positive effect on the land prices uh, in the Payata area. So uh, these slides pretty much sums up uh, these three developments I think uh, we should all be aware of uh, if you're looking at the Payatai area. Number one is, um, I think the name might be wrong, the unicorn uh, is actually called, um, you can actually Google for uh, Payatai Complex uh, by BTS Group. Um, so it's about 52 or 51 levels of mixed use uh, commercial building in, uh, consisting of retail office, uh, four star hotel and the service residences. Right, where exactly is this place? Uh, this is actually located right next to next to Payatai BTS. So, uh, yep. So the plot is actually somewhere here. So next time when this is this is, uh, I think it's due to be completed sometime uh, next year. It will be. It should be completed uh, by two zero one nine. That's that's what I can find uh, from from all the various sources. So so once it's up, it will. Uh, increase the uh, 
the amount of uh, office spaces available um, that will attract more businesses to come in um, and then this will further drive growth in this area as well right uh, the other two projects aspiration one and uh, grk tower um, they are also uh, office building right this is 28 stories and uh, this is hotel plus retail uh, they are not exactly at Thai bts but not too far away just just further down uh, if uh, actually they, they would be closer to uh, Ratchatui station right so they, they will actually be around this area okay so these are three mega projects uh, in fact there's a fourth one uh, somewhere here okay this again this uh, BTS station uh, if you see somewhere here around this empty plot okay there's also another integrated project is coming up uh, in fact this is one of the projects that uh, I mentioned was going to launch uh, it's going to launch end of this month that's called uh, Park Origin by Atai by Origin Development so this, this is another integrated development uh, there's a five star hotel there's residential developments uh, which they're selling uh, then there's hotel and there's offices um, and uh, the hotel that's coming in will be intercontinental uh, intercontinental hotel okay so so there's this four uh, developments that are they are coming up uh, that I think will bring more hype and growth to this region as well plus the fact that um, I think in in a few years time uh, when the orange line is completed it will also add more connectivity to uh to this region as well we're only about uh one station away one station out to victory monument uh and uh, Payata itself is already uh interchanged with the airport rail link uh they do have plans to further extend the uh this line further down to the eastern economic corridor so it, when they do that or uh, then they will add more traffic uh that uh, that are going to be using this uh pink line as well Okay, uh, the orange line, the yellow line are still under construction. Uh, what we have now is uh, this dark green line and light green line, as well as the uh, blue MRT line. Okay, how about uh, what what is the uh, rental? Uh, how's the rental demand for uh, Pattaya area at the moment? Mm, let me show you. You can actually go to. Uh, we would use this DD property. <laughs> to have a good understanding. Um, the interesting thing is that um, there reason there hasn't really been a lot of uh, new residential projects in uh, the Payatai area uh, lately, uh, maybe only about three or four uh, notable ones. So the supply is still um, uh, not a lot, I would say. Uh, I think one of the newer one you can look at is uh, this project called to to under, to take a reference Superlai Elite Fire Type. Uh, let's look at Ren. more options I think we just look at the one bedroom so you can see here um, you might have to give a bit of discount uh, you, you may not always just rent for exactly the price that they ask for so 44 square meters 30,000 asking 30,000 per month uh, 28.5 the larger one, 62 square meters, are asking about 42. Um, I, I've just seen a few earlier. I realized that uh, over here, uh, the one bedrooms are generally larger in sizes. So there's uh, some that are in the regions of about 30 square meters. Those are asking about 22,000 Thai baht per month. And then if you have units that are larger, like uh, like this 40 45 square meters then yep i think the price is quite consistent i'm seeing people asking about 26 to 30000 per month uh, the location is actually somewhere here you can see here okay here to the bts station is about 
600 meters walk. There's another project by the name of uh, Ideo Mobi Biotai. Uh, it's actually over here. Let me show you. Actually, in fact, it's nearer to the PTS. Uh, Ideo Mobi Biotai. Yep, that's, that's where it is. All right. So you can see that it's actually nearer to the to the PTS station. So uh, smaller unit sizes that they have, 21 square meters, 17,000. Larger ones, 53 square meters, 40,000. So you can see there's actually two, uh, two tiers. The smaller ones are about 20,000, uh, maybe 18,000. And the largest one is about uh, 25 or 30. In fact, in, in some cases, you see people asking about 40,000. Uh, maybe uh, it's done up more nicely. Right, so uh, there's an maybe you just see one more. All right, so the address Payatai, uh, the address is uh, one of the better series of uh, developments by AP Thai. Okay, so search. All right, so you can see here. Uh, in fact, the address Pata has been around for uh, quite a number of years. I can see it, 2013, 2013. Uh, but the one bedroom, 40 square meters, 20, still asking very, very healthy rent, 27. In fact, uh, I think the U, rental U returns of these owners are quite decent considering the price that they would have entered back in 2013. So 25, 60, uh, 52, 30,000. So um, here's the thing. I think um, uh, the reason why, you know, uh, why developments like the address are still commanding such a, a strong rental despite it being about five years old is because number one, uh, this is a good property by, by a renowned uh, developer. So even if it's been five years or six years has passed, the upkeep of the property is still very, very good in, and to start off with the quality that they use inside for the address are usually very good also so even five years down the road you will still have tenants walking into the management office asking whether they are units for rent and that's where uh, we would always try to advise our clients that's why you should always buy from the big developers because the big developers make sure that the properties are upkeep well five years seven years ten years you will still see that the, the prices will still hold very very well uh, rather than some um, like you know mid-size or unknown developer uh, the location might be somewhat similar but uh, you might decide to forego uh, uh, the name because they might be a bit cheaper but what happens is the property in most cases doesn't get taken care of after a few years uh, that's where the problem lies uh, and then you'll find yourself having problems selling it off uh, next time. So that's why we will always advise our clients that uh, if you want to buy something in Bangkok, uh, please do stick with the good developers. Go for the investment grade property so that uh, five years, ten years down the road, there will still be demand uh, should you choose to sell. Or, uh, you know, even as years go by, you will still be able to get tenants without much problem. All right, okay, so... Uh, I'm done with this video. Uh, this I hope you have a better understanding of where this Paratai is and end off with uh, talking about the rental rates, the rental demand of this uh, location. So uh, in the next two videos, then I will be going in depth to talk about the uh, project specifics of uh, Park Origin Paratai and also uh, XD Paratai by Sensiri. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to, uh, you know, you can, you can email us or leave a comment below. Uh, if there's any, anything that you want us to cover on, leave us, leave us a comment below. We'll be more than happy to uh, share whatever that we know. Um, and then if you uh, like what you have seen so far, do give us a thumbs up and uh, click on the subscribe button. Uh, follow us because we'll be uploading new contents uh, very regularly. And then uh, we hope to share everything that we know about Bangkok property investment with you. Uh, we would always uh, be in Bangkok once every month at least to do site visits, to uh, check out the latest launches. Uh, and then we'll also be doing property reviews like this. Um, 
to share with uh, every, anybody who might be interested in investing in Bangkok property. So do subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.